So you've got this 20th century BMW, and you don't think it looks badass enough. How about install some angel eyes to the headlamps? Now I'll show you how to do that. Actually, I'm mostly going to make it up as I go along, but let's see how close I get. Ten mil. And then slide up the connector. So now it seems pretty loose, but uh, don't be tempted to <laughs> pull it off yet because this is the fiddly part. Be better access. I'm going to remove the the corner light turn signal. Is the access you need? I need a Phillips screwdriver to uh, get into. Can't even see here or feel what you're doing. Ah, excellent! I got a bite. When it's loose. Push the indicator light forwards, and out she comes. Unclip wire, and in here, you just feel the end of a spring clip that will push and release this lower eyelid. Good, pushed it. You have to slide that towards the centre of the vehicle. And my lower eyelid is stuck on really hard, so I'm going to wrap a cloth thickly around a blade screwdriver now it's very hard to see but there are two notches here and through there there is a tiny little star screwed about three inches in I really hope this doesn't drop in there Next one. That's loose now. Excellent. Oh dear, didn't want that to fall, whatever it was. Ah. Oh. The little slider bolt here. Take a look at the underside, and you can see three more here and there. It's a star head, which was used to get uh, these fellas out before. A380, super jumbo. Anyway, you can see now that slider comes loose. There's that troublesome star bolt. More spring clips to pry off. There's a little pry gap here. And you can see it allows you to move the glass off. How about that? I think that's, uh, that's coming free. Excellent. Wouldn't hurt to give that a clean either after 20 years of dust. So just three more little star bolts. There they go. One, two, three. And while I'm in there, it wouldn't hurt to replace this old parking light bulb with a uh, a brand new pimped up bright xenon coloured LED and now do the other side but this time make sure I catch this slider got it Yeah, it's not very happy about that, is it? So while I was cleaning these 
lenses and reflectors at night, I noticed that these back plates had a top coat of silver spray that got eroded by the glass cleaner. Oh well, in for a penny, in for a pound. And tempting as it may be to put these angel eyes into the lenses, you in fact stick them on the parabolic reflectors with a sticky tape in your kit. And don't be tempted to shorten these wires because they're very high voltage. Before you peel the backing tape off, just offer it up and then stick the angel eye onto the reflector. And then get the wires out the back. Connect them up to the transformer. Now it does say remove the side light before you connect up the angel eyes, but I'm going to have um, my own known source of 12 volts. Slide the insulating sleeve over the connector because you don't want to short out those high voltages in there. And later you'll be heat shrinking this on with a fag lighter. Okay, that seems to be coming on nicely. Put it all back together, see what happens. Slide it back on, making sure the tongue goes through the grooves here and here. Tighten them up. Not too many chemtrails today. Ridiculously inaccessible star bolts. In. Plug up the wiring, locate the runners, push and slide down, and then I'm going to check the lights work before I bolt everything in place. You side lights good. Main beam. Crosshead screws. Washer nuts. The washer screw. 10mm socket. Make sure it's back in the same place as before because that affects the beam alignment. Put the turn signal back. A couple of rails on the indicator housing. Slide it in. And then when you've screwed it back in, put that little inspection cover back on as well. Find those star bolts. All seems sturdy enough. Lock this slider into the wing panel here. Slide this eyelid back on. And it's just the same on the other side. Job done. Tidy. And all that for twenty four quid.